What's good, YouTube? Andre here with the DM Network. If you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button, turn on notifications because we drop videos every day. It's free, doesn't cost you anything, and it helps us to continue doing what we enjoy doing and making content. Now on to the video. Dragon Ball Game Project Z. I wanted to talk briefly about the title of the game. It hasn't been released yet, but more than likely, y'all, the name of the game is probably just going to be Dragon Ball Z. Some people are speculating as to the legacy of Goku. However, um, that could be a possibility and that could be why we haven't got an official title yet. Because in order for them to obtain the name legacy of Goku, uh, they have to get uh, permission, copyright permission, and they have to get licensing and stuff to be able to use that name. And I imagine they have to work out some kind of royalty deal uh, with Atari or whoever it was that, that uh, produced and developed the legacy of goku i know webfoot technologies did uh the development on it but whoever the producer was i don't think it was bandai namco i think it was uh maybe atari or somebody like that but they, there's there's things that you have to get like with a new publisher and a new developer they're not going to uh just be able to use a name from a previous game from a different publisher and stuff. there's legal stuff they have to go through so that could be the reason why we don't have a title yet um, but I really think that it's just part of the marketing thing to build up hype for the game. Still don't know a title yet. You know, it's just an extra thing to announce. So I really think it's going to be Dragon Ball Z. The reason why is because whenever Dragon Ball Fighters came out, it was Dragon Ball Game Project Fighters. And what did it end up being? Dragon Ball Fighters. Uh, when Dragon Ball Heroes came out, it was Dragon Ball Project Heroes. And what was it? Dragon Ball Heroes. Now, I don't know what it was with Xenoverse. I think it was just Dragon Ball Game Project xv or something like that i don't know but um all in all does i think the title is just going to be dragon ball z but that's that's yet to be seen we'll find out but in more important news this is what the video is about it's just a small video short video today um some more details on the game so it is available for pre-order right now i know for sure from gamestop i uh, haven't checked other sources i just do all my gaming stuff if I don't buy online on the system, I, I always go to GameStop because I used to work for that particular GameStop and I, I really like the people there and it's not ran like other GameStop, that's, you know, but that's neither here nor there. But anyway, so it is available for pre-order PlayStation and Xbox, PS4 and Xbox One. Uh, they're not showing any, they're not showing any collector's editions and things like that. Of course, those things haven't been announced. There's no box art. I mean, the only box art they have is the image you're seeing right here in Dragon Ball Game Project Z. Um, however, there are a few new details, and this is why I went to GameStop site on my phone or whatever to see uh, what they would say about the game. And it does give more details, a little bit more, not that much. Um, but if you look here, Dragon Ball Game Project Z, pre-order, new, $59.99. Details, relive the thrilling adventures of Goku, the Saiyan, also known as Kakarot. His quest for power, thirst for challenges, and above all, desire to protect the Earth from the most fearsome villains. Dragon Ball Game Project Z is an all-new action RPG recounting the beloved story of Dragon Ball Z like never before. Now, there's a, yeah, there's a few new details in there. Uh, reading this, I get a heavy, heavy vibe that we are only going to get to play as Goku. However. At the bottom, at the end, it says, and this says the same thing that Sean Schimmel said uh, at the announcement of it all, that it's it's going to tell the story of Dragon Ball Z. But so I don't know if the game is going to drop with uh, Goku's perspective on everything, and then maybe DLC is going to be Vegeta's side, Brilliant or Piccolo's, or you know, because with it being an open world game. They could easily do that and um, basically have it to where you can have the Krillin story mission, the Vegeta story mission, the Gohan story mission. You see what I'm saying? That's something that's really plausible and I think that would really work. Um, I do believe that they are going to go to the Boo saga, especially if the game is only focused on Goku's events, because um, when Goku isn't there, uh, there's not a whole lot going on. But also, one cool thing is. After Goku dies, after the Cell Saga, if they follow Goku, if we go all the way up to Majin Buu, will we get to train in the other world as well as fight in the um, the the other world tournament against Pycon and some of them? That would be really cool, and that's something that we haven't seen in a Dragon Ball game yet. 
We've had PyCon in the game, but we haven't had we haven't gotten to fight in the other world tournament. So that would be really cool to be able to relive that. Y'all, I have been re-watching Dragon Ball Z. Um, and y'all, it is just getting me more hype for this game. It really, really is. But like I said, reading this, it gives you a little bit more detail. Um, it's saying relive the thrilling adventures of Goku. You see what I'm saying? So that lets us know right off the top that for the initial game, we're going to be only playing as Goku. But even in the trailer, it talks about warriors in plural, meaning more than one. And then at the end, and like Sean Schimmel said, it's talking about the full, the story of Dragon Ball Z, which we all know that the story of Dragon Ball Z is the story of Goku. However, we also know that there are other people involved in that story. So like I said, the game probably will come out with just Goku as a playable character. And there could potentially be DLC story missions that allow you to play as the other characters. That would be really cool uh, to see as well. But I don't have no issue playing with just Goku. I don't. I mean, I would like to play with some of the other characters. Um, but if it's just Goku... I'm cool with that. I'm a Dragon Ball fan, so hey, it is what it is. Like I said, if you're a Dragon Ball fan, then you understand that Dragon Ball Z is the story of Goku. It's all about Goku. The start, the beginning, the middle, the end, it's all focused around him. So if you have a problem with that, then you have a problem with Dragon Ball, in my opinion. But this is just a little tidbit news, just a little bit more details. Y'all, I'm keeping my ears to the ground. I would imagine uh, some people have been asking, when is the next time we're going to hear something? Um, any kind of event, um, I think that um, in the V-Jump magazine, you have to keep your eyes and ears peeled to that. Uh, they're definitely going to say something in V-Jump. Um, sorry about that. Also, um, of course, Comic-Con and E3, that's in June and July. That's in, in the summer. So I doubt they wait five months for that. Uh, last time Xenoverse was announced, the game came out five months later and then Fighters came out eight months later. So if we go between five and eight months, that can put this game's release between uh, possibly summer or early to mid fall. So it, we don't have too much time, so they're not going to uh, waste too much time getting information out. Of course, you know, E3 is going to come. They're going to give information out. Um, also, Bandai always does a live stream talking about the game as well. Um, I think what they're going to do is whenever they announce the next characters for season two, they will, um, they're going to do more information on Project Z. Bandai is probably going to have another game showcase where they announce or show off Broly and um, Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan God uh, Gogeta, because those are the next characters coming for Dragon Ball Fighters. So I would think that they're going to wait until they do a live stream event for those guys and they'll talk more about Project Z. But I'll let y'all know as soon as I hear something, keeping my ear and nose to the ground every single day, all day. This is what I do. This is what I enjoy. This is what I love. So remember, if you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button, turn on notifications, and let me know down in the comment section down below. What do you think that this game will have DLC? And if it does, what type of DLC will it have? Till next time, thanks for watching. Peace.